Okay, so the other reason why too you want to pay them on time also is to save money. You know, if you don't pay it on time, you're going to get a penalty. Um, you could actually trigger um, higher rates. So if you don't pay your credit card on time, in um, maybe two months in a row, all of a sudden they're going to ding you with a penalty rate. Yo. And then that rate may sit there out there for six months, nine months, and then you're going to have to pay more just right. because you didn't pay on time. Yes, so, good point. You know, yeah, you know. dead beats out there, Kelly Jackson. Pay your bills. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Give us a couple of helpful hints on paying the bills. There you go. Okay, first of all, set up auto pay. You know, that's the easiest. If, if most uh, vendors, most utilities will allow you to do it auto pay, they'll right. just take it out of your account easily, easily. Um, but when you do that, you've got to make sure we all get bills. Some come in the mail, some come auto pay. Some actually just are set up maybe your insurance. You know, you set it up in six months and they're taking it out and they're not telling you, hey, tomorrow we're taking your right. money out. Yeah. So, you know, the, 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 my most important tip is understand when your bills are coming and yeah. how they're coming. And if you're a visual person and you're getting an e-bill, print it out. It, you know, I mean, if you get most of your bills through the mail right. and you kind of like to put them on your counter or whatever system you well, have. What, what about like, hey, I'm, lo I'm running low on funds, uh, paydays in three days, and I get the bill today and I don't have the money today. Yeah, so that's another thing. Understand your pay, your pay schedule, and when your bills come. Right. And if there is just one that is not working with your system, call that vendor, call that company, say, is it possible for you to move it? And mm. if not, and if they won't, some yeah. will, because they want you to pay on time. Sure. But if they won't, then you're going to have to take, you know, a month or two to try to adjust your schedule so that when you get it, you're sort of prepaying yourself. And just, you know, maybe open another little savings account or a secondary account where you right. can slide it over and you sort of paid it. And yeah. You paid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always leery of auto pay, and I don't know why. I'd much rather get the bill and physically go in and, and, and hit send. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you pay it? Do you guys pay it as soon as you get it? Or do you wait till the due date and then pay it? Really? Yeah. I pay it the second it, it, it comes in the mail. Yeah. No, I just, I don't want it hanging around. Then at the end of the month, you're like, oh my goodness, I got nine bills I got to pay. It's worse. I just pay it the day you get it. And then you just don't worry about it. Yeah, so much of it is easy, too. You get it in the mail, you open your mail, and you say, oh, let me just pull up my app, pay it through online bill pay, boom, you're done. Right. You know, easy peasy. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, you know, so other than that, um, you know, making sure if you if there is a bill that you have to pay where you can't pay it online um, or automatically and you're actually writing a check and mailing it in the mail, the last tip would be is make sure you give enough time for that to get there. So, you know, if you're actually mailing through the mail, it's going to take time, right? right. And yeah. so you want to make sure it gets It takes there longer today than it did five years ago. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So what about, so online bill paying? You pay the bill, they take it out of your account today, or they take it out when the electric company gets it? So they take it out today. They take it out when you pay it, unless you, you go to online bill pay and you schedule it. Right. So if you get your utility bill today and you say, I just want to pay this, boom, you paid it. You've got, you know you have the money in your account, you've paid it, they take it out the day you pay it. Right. If you say, hey, this isn't due till the 20th, I'm going to set it to pay on the 15th, they'll take it out on the 15th. Got it. Okay, yeah. Though there are some where I pay where they take it out in a day or two, but it doesn't get credited on the other end for another couple of days. Right. right. The float or whatever that is. Yeah. 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 It really, it's a whole mental gymnastics game. You have the bills. You, you got to pay them. Right. Do you wait? And, and rip the band-aid off at the end of the month or do you do it every day or you know I don't know I've always told somebody always told me once in terms of paper uh, touch it once and yeah. be done with it don't touch it four times yeah. you have a light bill don't take it out of the mailbox put it on your desk and then move it to your nightstand and then move it to the, the bathroom and then move it to the living room and then pay it yeah my personal I open the envelope I pay it then yeah. I don't open it and then put it off to the side I open it pay it and now I know I'm done with yeah. it yeah yeah uh, what's going on with uh, Neighbors Credit Union? Anything new? Uh, well, we got our scholarship program yes. uh, alive and kicking. Yes. So, yeah. Talk about that yeah, real quick. Yeah. So it's through our SMART program, and it's for graduating high school seniors. Um, we're going to award five $2,000 scholarships, and um, the scholarship money can be used for you know junior college, university college, um, trade school, you know, so it's it's for graduating high school seniors. How do you apply for the scholarship? Uh, so you go to neighborscu.org. 
and we have an online application and the, the key part of the scholarship is a essay or a little YouTube video. And you have two, two themes to choose from. YouTube video or an essay. <laughs> love it. Love it. NeighborsCU.org. NeighborsCU.org. That's the smart scholarship program. You used to still have the smart accounts too. Yep. Smart accounts uh, for kids and young adults, zero to age 22. That's a fantastic program as well. Uh, Paul Anderson with uh, Neighbors Credit Union, NeighborsCU.org. Good stuff. Thanks for coming in. You bet. Uh,